I feel like you're so far away. In the world of cutlery dispensing systems, these are gonna be big things once COVID-19 settles down and how you decide on which system to go with and how it's gonna impact your business and the environment is what you're gonna all wanna know about. Well, you're in luck, because in today's episode, we're gonna take a deep dive on two different dispensing systems. I'm gonna tell you exactly how it's all gonna go down. How's it going, everyone? Hope all you all well and keeping safe, and thank you for joining me. My name is Slash P, and you're watching Food Packaging TV. I've created a five-star rating system to give a full and honest breakdown of the two products that we're gonna be going head-to-head -head with today. And here's how it's gonna work. What we're gonna do, we're gonna be covering five major areas. Number one, aesthetics. This includes material construction, various colors and branding options, the overall look and design. Number two, functionality. What is the ease of loading a refill? The ease of dispensing an individual cutlery? The ease of troubleshooting if, it, if the system jams? And what is the ease of mounting if it's applicable? And also the versatility. Can you choose different cutlery cartridges and a common base? Three, load capacity and refills. The total number of pieces the dispenser holds itself, how many pieces per refill, and the real estate it's gonna take on your counter space. Four, hygiene. When loading cartridges, machine maintenance, and if there's any handles or trays that can collect germs or no. And they're one touch dispensing system. How easy is it? And number five, the environmental impact. Do they have compostable options? How do they reduce their packaging and overall reduction in waste? So let's get right on to it, shall we? We shall. Introducing MaxStax. These machines have been designed completely in-house from their design, their molds and packaging. This provides a significant advantage in quality control as everything is made in the US. Another advantage of being made in the US is that they face a lead time that is a lot less compared to getting something from over the pond. Also, the carbon footprint is also reduced. So let's start with aesthetics. Material and construction. It's made with plastic, feels kind of soft but rough to the touch. The colors and brandings, they have options to do a lot of customization. So if you are looking for a different color or some private label, they've got a minimum of 200 dispensers, which could be great if you're a restaurant or a supermarket with multi-units. The overall look and feel, when I look at it, it somewhat reminds me of a tower that swoops up, but it also has a very boxy-like feel. So if you're looking at like those tall tower scrapers, tower scrapers? Skyscrapers. They've got that type of feel to it, somewhat a little bit more uh, rustic, industrial, but at the same time, it gives you a sense of sturdiness, a sense of stability. But if you look at the way it moves, it actually slides quite easily. I think what they could probably use are some sort of tacks at the bottom that will hold the actual dispenser cutlery system in place. Two, functionality and ease of loading the refills. I tried loading them, it wasn't as easy. It is more hygienic, but wasn't as easy. Troubleshooting wasn't as uh, easy either. I had to figure out how to troubleshoot it, but I did find a way of doing it. And so I'm gonna show you that in a separate video. But when you're looking at the way in terms of dispensing, uh, to open this guy, I'll tell you, you have to kind of use two thumbs to, to pry him open. And there's a red button. You push this red button, almost like pushing the red button for Batman. And he kind of slides out, he pops out. You pull them open and you take your refill. And you would just put them in here and you would undo the tab and off you go, it's refilled. You would then push them back. Close your tab and here comes out your cutlery. If it does get jammed, the troubleshooting mechanism is a bit more difficult to prime, but I'm gonna show you that as well. What I do like about their cutlery though, is they have an interesting thumb groove. So when you're reaching out for a refill, you can easily pull it out. They have a little thumb groove right here. I don't know if you can see it, um, but I'll zoom in on it this later on. But it fits your thumb, you grab it, and you just pull it out, and it dispenses very easily. Pretty smart idea. This dispensing system can be mounted on a wall, which is a huge bonus if you lack counter space. But the versatility on the downside is that you cannot choose different types of cutlery cartridges to fit in the common base. Whatever you see, it comes preloaded. Number three, load capacity. So the total number of pieces the dispenser holds is 375 pieces. They have 100 pieces per refills. 
and the real estate on your counter is actually not that much more than any other other dispensing system I've seen. Number four, hygiene. When loading these cartridges, this machine itself probably is the most hygienic machine. Once you get used to it, you won't have to use gloves, you won't have to use or worry about cutlery coming loose. It'd be very easy for you to dispense cutleries one by one, probably the most hygienic system out here. Number five, the environmental impact. Do they have a compostable option? They do. They have a CPLA 100% compostable cutlery available. Better than that, they're coming out with an all new backyard compostable material that they're gonna offer later this year. The usage and reduction in packaging is huge. 88 pounds that are of film that are eliminated for every 100 cases versus individually wrapped cutlery. 88 pounds, to give you an idea what that looks like, here's an image of five pounds. This is what five pounds of fat looks like. Now imagine almost 18 of those fat nuggets coming off your body. 88 pounds of film el eliminated for every 100 cases is a huge deal. And now the cutlery dispenser system, which probably don't need any introduction to, but I did want to make mention that what I do like about this one is that they have a very nice high-end gloss look and it's really nice to the touch. It feels like it's made out of quality materials. And the nice thing about this one is that it has a nice versatile base that's gonna offer you the opportunity to change out your cartridge system. So if you wanted to have fork, fork, and fork, well, you can do so. Number two, functionality and ease of loading the refills. Now, you've seen this before, it's not the most hygienic way of loading it, but it's very easy. You open it up, it really does, it sits well, it does a nice job. I'll show you that in a second video. Number three, load capacity and refills. The total number of pieces that this dispenser holds is 360 pieces, and each refill has 50 pieces in itself. The real estate on this guy, 12 and a half by 34, because it's 26.5 plus seven for the clearance to load, and the depth is 11.63. Almost the same as the max Max MaxSax is actually a little bit smaller. Pretty much maintenance free. All you really need is a microfiber cloth to dust it all off, because it doesn't have any batteries or cords and it's one touch dispensing system is the same as Max Stax. Actually, it's somewhat more easier to pull out of. It's, you don't have to require too much more force. Number five, the environmental impact. They do have the obvious 100% certified compostable cutlery and they also have a third party to verify that they actually break down into healthy compost and especially inside a commercial composting facility. All right, so we're gonna do the demo of how to load a magazine into the, uh, the Max Stax system over here. So here we go, we're gonna open up the spoons chamber and to show you how it works. So I tried doing it already with the knife and the fork to understand the mechanics. I actually had to troubleshoot the knife to understand how it actually releases if it gets jammed. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. But first and foremost, let's have a look at this dispensing system and how it actually, you load and unload this guy. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna flip up this lid over here. He's a bit tricky to open, but you gotta use the two of the thumbs. It opens, then you've got a red button. You're gonna push this red button, boom. The magazine comes sliding out, or the magazine chamber. So what you're gonna do now, you're gonna take your magazine of cutlery, so that, again, this comes in a pack of 100. Comes fully sealed. Here we go, we're gonna put it inside. Step one was to put it inside. The second step is gonna be to pull off the tab. Now here, the, how the tab works. It says pull up and off. So here we do, let's do that. We pulled it off, so uh, we did have a little bit of a glitch. So now we got it unloaded. So what we're gonna do is, uh, because it didn't come out right away, we're gonna troubleshoot this guy. The way you troubleshoot him is there's a little, little tab, there's a little tab underneath. You just pull it down like so. And underneath, there is a little lever that you're gonna pull forward. Somehow we got this thing to work, but it's not as, uh, as easy as I thought it was, it was gonna be. Spoons, forks, and knives. They're a bit more difficult to take out than the Eco Products one, but they do have some pretty robust cutlery and they've got some uh, interesting 
placements for your fingers. Uh, they're like little uh, grooves where it's easier. It's actually it's designed to pull. So you put your thumb on it and you pull. So you look at it, it's designed in a way where you grab you with your thumb and you pull. So how do these two dispensers stack up against one another? Well, here are the results. Max stacks. Aesthetic wise, three stars. It's great that they can offer custom branding, including changing the color of the actual dispenser. But the minimums, I think it just might be too high for mom and pop shops to take advantage of. I felt that the materials were not as high end as the cutleries. And the overall look of the product is quite dark and, and sometimes difficult to see when the red indicator is there to inform you that it's time for a refill. Functionality, three stars. Refilling the dispenser system quite takes some practice and the priming of the dispenser is not as straightforward. However, once you learn how to do it, I believe it becomes easier, as does all things. I also wasn't a fan that you don't have an option to choose between which cutlery cartridge that you want to offer your customers. However, I did like the thumb in the actual cutlery groove, here we are, which makes it easier to pull from the dispenser. I like the fact that it can be installed on a wall and makes it very convenient for any establishment that has tight counter space. Load capacity, three stars. It does hold 375 pieces, which is 15 more than the cutleries, but that doesn't really necessarily make it or break it. The refills are twice the size as the cutleries refills, but they can also mean that if you happen to foul up a refill, you waste more cutlery and more time to recover and replace these cutleries. But because it does have a, a larger magazine refill load, so your load time is cut in half as opposed to the cutleries once you get the hang of it. Hygiene, four stars. Although loading takes practice, I believe it's the most hygienic systems once you get used to it. And of course, they both offer single touch dispensing options. However, this dispenser is the king of hygiene once everything works the way it should. Environmental impact, they get a five star. Not only do they have compostable cutlery, but they also look forward to their backyard version of compostable cutlery. Their efforts to reduce wrapping film is also a huge win. Overall, the Max X dispenser gets a three and a half star rating. And now for the cutleries, on aesthetics, they get four stars. I really like that it has a smooth and clean design. It's very bright, but I will say that their conventional cutlery system isn't as brightly colored as they change their color scheme for the Eco Products brand. It has a high end look and the branding can be easily applied on these systems. The red light indicator is easily located in the front, giving you the heads up from a distance. It has great tacks on the bottom to keep the dispenser from moving around and keeps it in place. However, it doesn't have any provisions to be mounted on the walls. And I'm not a fan that it requires additional clearance to load the refills. Functionality, four stars. Refilling this dispenser system requires, well, actually it's pretty straightforward. Even priming this cutlery system is very easily understood. One of the best features is that you can swap out the cartridge system to suit your offerings. If you wanted a fork, 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 well, guess what? You got it. Load capacity, three stars. The cutleries holds 360 pieces and has a small refill pack of 50 pieces. But because it is a smaller pack, the refill magazines take double the time to reload as it does the Max Stacks. Hygiene, three stars. Unfortunately, the refills come fully exposed to the elements and therefore, Whenever someone goes to refill the actual dispensers, they have to wear gloves because there's a high probability that cross-contamination can take place when they're loading. That defeats the purpose of having a single-use dispensing system if the cutleries are being handled in an unhygienic way. Of course, if you do wear gloves and take the proper hygiene protocols, you should be okay with this dispensing system. Environmental impact, four stars. The fact that they have their own brand of cutlery and dispensing system that screams green it's hard to miss. Third party studies to give it a green thumbs up on healthy compost is a great bonus. And just like the Max Stacks, when compared to individually wrapped cutlery, the cutlery system saves even more film than the Max Stacks as the refill cartridges are not wrapped. Overall, the cutlery suspensing system also receives a three and a half star rating. Truthfully, they both have pros and cons. But on the whole, if you're looking for categories such as hygiene and environmental impact, I would go with Max Stacks. If you're looking for overall aesthetics and ease of use, then I'd go with the cutleries. Either way, when using hygiene best practices, both systems will work well and offer your customers a cleaner, safer, and healthier dining experience. If you wanna know where to get your hands on either of these dispensing systems, ask your local distributor to get you these by name. And if they can't help you, leave a comment.
I'll be happy to serve your dispensing needs. Well, that's gonna do it for today's episode on Food Packaging TV. Thank you for joining me. My name is Ilash P. Please feel free to subscribe, like, share, comment, hit the little bell icon so you know when I post a new video. We'll see you soon. Thank you.